you are provided with 0 0.1 capital M sodium hydroxide solution F. So this one is 0 0.1 capital M sodium hydroxide cold solution F. Solution G is made by dissolving 23.46 grams of a diabetic acid in 250 centimeters cube of distilled water. Very important. Kuna kitu hapa nataka ujue. I want you to know what is a diabetic acid. We have monobasic acid. Examples of monobasic. Monobasic acid is HCl. It has got only one hydrogen. Monobasic nitric acid monobasic diabetic is an acid like sulfuric acid so this acid here is an example of sulfuric acid so if you know how to write equation with bases using sulfuric acid this one is not going to give you a problem so this diabetic acid was dissolved 23.4 grams of diabetic acid was dissolved in 250. Very important that this is the mass in 250, not in a thousand. This mass is in 250 centimeters cube. So you are required to determine to di this to dilute solution G. Standardize that. So we are going to dilute this solution G. Procedure one: using a measuring cylinder, measure 20 centimeters cube of solution G and transfer it into a beaker. Measure 80, 80 centimeters cube of distilled water and add it to the 220 centimeters cube of solution G in a beaker. Label the solution H. Understanding the procedure or whatever you are doing is very important. We are taking 20 solution G, add 80 centimeters cube water distilled water and forming a hundred centimeters cube solution h because 20 plus 80 is a hundred say h so this h we are forming here the total volume is a hundred centimeters cube because about 20 g plus 80 centimeters cube of distilled water and what is H? H is the diabetic acid G. Remember that. H is a diabetic acid G, but diluted now. Procedure 2. Place solution H in a pureed pipette 25 cm cube of solution F into a 250 cm cube conical flask. Add two to three drops of phenolphthalein indicator and titrate with solution H. Record the results. So the result was recorded and we have 14. So let us complete the table because we have been given to one decimal place. We will take our initial to be 0.0, 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0. You subtract here, it is going to be 14.1, 13.9, 14.9. So calculate the average volume of solution H. This is the solution of H that was used. So the average is you add this plus this divided by 3. So our average is 14.10 centimeters cube. Determine the number of moles of solution F in 25. F is sodium hydroxide. F is sodium hydroxide. We have the molarity. Molarity is the number of moles in a thousand. This capital M stands for molarity, and the molarity is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube. So we know that is 0 0.1 solution F, uh, 0 0.1 moles actually, moles. Of solution F I'll contain in a thousand centimeters cube F 
what was the volume we used we have been given it is 25 so we will ask 25 centimeters cube f will contain how many 25 times 0 0.1 divided by 1000 this one will give us 0 0.0025 0 moles so this is the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with H. That reacted with H. Determine the number of moles of acid in the solution H in the average volume. Remember this H, we don't know anything about H at all. We only know about the volume, Irifika 100. So for us to know some information about uh, H, we must write the reaction between H and F. So the reaction F is sodium hydroxide. So it reacted with H, which is H2 MO6. This one here. This one here. I told you this one is like sulfuric acid, so you write the equation the way you could have written using sulfuric acid. So you will have sodium sulfate. And instead of sodium sulfate, you write MO, MO6 plus water. It is a salt plus water reaction because this is neutralization. But since 2, sodium here is 2, you balance by writing 2 here, and that is it. The volume for this one is equal 14.1. The volume for this one is 25. The moles of this one is 0 0.0025. So, so we are asking the moles of H. This is H in the average. So what was the number? So because the ratio here now you can see the mole ratio of sodium sodium 2 h 2 m o 6 is 2 to 1 fine so meaning that the number of moles of the h uh, acid here is going to be a half so we are in 2 this one is equal to 0 0.0025 you ask one will it be what this one that is one times 0 0.0025 divided by 2. So the moles of the acid that was used is 0 0.00125. That is the number of moles of H. So, so it is important to quantify equation. Would you quantify equation na balance? If you don't know that, then it becomes very difficult. Determine the number of moles of acid in 100 centimeters cube of the solution H. Now we know the number of moles of H in 25. In, is it in 25 in 14? Because H, the average volume is 14. H, the average is 14. So, so this moles is the moles of H in 14 centimeters cube. So 14.10 centimeters cube contains 0 0.00125 we will simply ask what would it be 100 100 centimeters cube h will contain what so we simply this other 100 times 0 0.00125 we divide by 14.1 that one gives us a uh, Zero point zero zero eight eight six five moles. This is the number of moles in a hundred solution H a hundred. Determine the number of moles in the acid in twenty in the acid in the the question starts here. Determine the number of moles in acid in 25 of the acid in 25 centimeters cube solution G. 
So in, you must know what, what happened. We measured 25 centimeters cube of solution G, diluted it to 100 centimeters cube solution H, meaning that the number of moles in a, the, in a 100 centimeters cube solution H would be exactly the number of moles in 20 centimeters cube solution G, the original. So number of moles in a hundred centimeters cube solution H will be equal to the number of moles in 20 centimeters cube solution G. So moles of 20 centimeters cube G will be equal to 0 0.008865 moles. This one here because this is the number of moles of H in a hundred. Number of moles in 250th of solution G. That's very simple now that we know the number of moles of G in 20. So 20 centimeters cube G contains 0 0.008865 moles. Right, so we will ask 250 centimeters cube G will contain 250 times 0 0.008865. We divide by 20, and this one gives us 0 0.1108 moles. So this is the number of moles in, in 250 G. Calculate the molar mass of acid, this, the molar mass. Molar mass is the same as R, F, M. Fine. So there is two ways we can do this. So we can use method one. We know the number of moles in 250. 250 centimeters cubed contains 0 0.0, oh sorry, 0 0.1, 0 0.1108 moles, right? Uh, and what was the, the mass in here? We were given the mass in 250. So the mass, 23.46, this was the mass also in 250, and it contains 0 0.1108 moles. So, one mole will contain what? So that is one times 23.46 divided by 0 0.0, 0 0.1108. This one gives us two, uh, two what? To 11.7 and that is the mass the mass in grams per, per liter you can simply say rfm is equal to mass over moles that's what i have done method one is rfm is equal to mass this mass of rfm in 250 so, or method two, we can get the mass in a liter. So, 23.46 grams are in 250 centimeters cube. 1,000 a liter centimeters cube will contain how oh many? That is a thousand times 23.46 divided by 250. And this one will give us 93.84 grams per liter. That is the mass in grams per liter. But we know that morality is equal to, morality is equal to uh, mass in grams per liter divided by RFM. Meaning that RFM is equal to mass 
in grams per liter divided by moral morality right so morality will be you ask if this one if this is the number of moles in 250 what will be the number of moles in in a uh, in 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 a thousand a thousand it will give you 0 0.4433 so that is 93.84 divided by 0 0.4433 and that one will be 211.1.71 determine the mass of m in the formula this given that h is equal this and that so uh, but we have the rfm rfm which is the molar mass is equal to we can round off this one to 212 we can round off this 212 so h2 mo6 will it be equal to 212 to 212 h is 1 so 1 times 2 plus m plus 16 times 6 the answer is 12 to 12 so this is 2 plus m plus plus uh, 96 will give us 212 so we can like terms together so m is equal to 212 minus 2 minus 96 so m is equal to two twelve minus ninety eight. So M is equal to one hundred and fourteen.